Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope all of you are doing well and welcome back to the Film Talk with Mikey channel. If you are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. I do collection updates, unboxing, movie reviews, and wrestling prediction videos. So anything movie and wrestling related, those are the type of videos that I do. So if that catches your interest, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you guys are notified when I do upload a video. So today I'm going to be reviewing one of my favorite comedies from the 80s, around the early to mid 80s. And it's a film that uh, I just tend to go back from back to from time to time. Um, it ended up launching, uh, I believe, about three sequels. Um, a un, uh, an unaired pilot uh, for a TV series, and unfortunately, the only thing we didn't get was a toy line, which I think would would have been pretty cool. Um, I'm going to be reviewing Revenge of the Nerds. I do apologize for the glare. Um, Revenge of the Nerds is one of my all time favorites. Um, it's just entertaining. It's funny. It's got a great cast. Uh, a lot of upcoming um, actors at the time and now have become household names and are just familiar faces. So you have Lewis and Gilbert. They are two friends that are, are going to attend Adams College. And of course, you know, during their visit, they meet these other nerds. We have Booger, played by Curtis Armstrong, I believe is the actor's name. Uh, Wormser, Takashi, Point Dexter, um, and the list just goes on. Uh, Lamar, and they are dealing with the jocks in this. The the what is it? The um, what did they call the group? Um, the Alpha Beta. Uh, I wanted to make sure I got that right. Yeah. So they are dealing with the Alpha Betas and also the sorority that. Um, aligns themselves with them and things are just not going well um, they are basically destroying their property they are not being accepted of course they're not being accepted to any fraternity so they have to try to get a fraternity that they can join and eventually they decide to start fighting back it's your cliche nerd jock type of story um, but I think it does it really well now you do have a great cast now i will say i can't remember the actor's name but the actor who plays point dexter he has been in a lot of movies he was in first kid um and a few other movies here and there throughout his career um, i'm not sure what he's doing now i don't know if he's still acting um you've got um the actor who plays the main jock in this uh, he is in with he's in the series Married with Children. He actually played the second husband or boyfriend or whoever in the series after the original actor uh, would leave. And uh, you also got uh, Robert Carradine who plays uh, Lewis. Um, making sure I got the actor's name. Yes, Robert Carradine. Anthony Edward plays Gilbert. Anthony Anthony Edward would have a really great career. He would go on to be in films like Top Gun. He's been in SVU for a few episodes. And then, of course, he would go on to do ER for a good while until uh, he decided to leave. Um, it doesn't say on here. Uh, it doesn't say. But, yeah. Um, Curtis Armstrong, yes. So, Curtis Armstrong does play Booker, uh, who's also had a who's having a successful career showing up in movies um voicing characters in uh american dad and i'm sure family guy um the film itself would law it would end up uh spawning three sequels revenge of the nerds 2 lost uh, like nerds in paradise or something like that uh, then there's three which is the, i think is the new generation and then part four nerds in love or something like that uh part two focuses them going to florida for this big college thing because at the big at the end of this um when i don't want to give away too much but um they do end up becoming part of the council uh for their college and are in charge uh so they go to this giant other um you know 
this giant other type of convention thing for the college students, for, you know, this council thing. Uh, you do have the actor from Happy Gilmore in the sequel. Uh, the actor who plays Ochre returns. I think he's in all of them except part three. Uh, I think part three is the only one. I don't know why I'm doing part two, but um, <laughs> yeah, he's the only one that returns in that. Uh, part three is the new generation. We have Gilbert, or not Gilbert, we have Lewis's nephew becoming part of Adams College. Adam College has changed dramatically. Uh, the, Robert Carradine does return. Actually, Robert Carradine is in all of them. Um, he does return. The actress who plays the sorority girl that um, Lewis likes, she returns for part three and part four. Um, and a good majority of the actors return. Some actors had to be changed, especially from this film and the uh, third film. Um, the actor who plays Wormser, I don't really know why he never returned for the other films. And the actor who played Point Dexter never returned, which is unfortunate. Um, I would like to see a Revenge of the Nerds 5 and really get everybody to return from all the other films. Um, I know there's one actor who passed away, I believe, a couple of years ago who was in the third movie. Um, but all in all, just Revenge of the Nerds, I feel like, is a very underrated and not a series that call it, you know, a series of films that gets talked about. Um, it came out around the same, probably the same time the Porky films come out, came out, and I feel like those, you know, get talked about a little bit more than Revenge of the Nerds. But Revenge of the Nerds has always been my all-time favorite. Unfortunately, uh, the first film is only available on, or is the only one available on Blu-ray. We, for the time being, we don't have Blu-ray releases for the sequels and that's unfortunate uh you do get some special features we have i am a nerd and i'm pretty proud of it i believe this is like a um a series of interviews and just talks about the film and how the actors you know came to the uh, script and how they auditioned you do get some deleted scenes that were taken out revenge of the nerd tv pilot so there was a tv pilot that they were planning on doing it didn't do too well um, I don't even think anybody from the original series uh, was part of that uh, pilot. You do get commentary from some of the actors, and then, you know, of course, you get the original theatrical uh, trailer. So, there you have it. That's my review for Revenge of the Nerds. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And if you enjoyed it, then give this uh, video a thumbs up and comment down below what your thoughts are. Do you guys love Revenge of the Nerds? Do you love the series of films that they have? I personally love them. They're enjoyable, they're cheesy, they're fun, and they're entertaining. And uh, I really do wish that parts two through four would get a Blu-ray release. Um, so with that being said, I'm of course Mikey. This is Film Talk with Mikey. And until next time guys, we'll talk about films. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Peace.